What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. And today, now this is a little delayed kind of because I was hoping to get this video out earlier, but we're doing a review on Joker. Now, to start off this movie, really touched a lot of topics and a lot of them touching base to what I do when I'm not doing YouTube videos, primarily in my field of day-to-day -day work, but I will kind of touch base on that, like, toward the end of the video. Right now, I want to focus on what I thought of Joker. Now, for starters, Joaquin Phoenix played the role of a sociopath, psychopath, a little too well. If he's ever, if he's in line for an Oscar, he earned it. No question about it. But I will say, this movie definitely raised a lot of issues as far as social-wise. I thought the story itself was really very well told. The action that was in it was... It was the right, right level of action, especially for dealing with a psychopath like the Joker. It also tied in, like, how the Joker became the Joker. That's where the synopsis of it was. It told the story very fucking well. But, as far as the social aspect of it, like, we know... I, I was able to tell exactly right what the director was going for. The Back in the 70s and 80s, the social cues and the social... The way people with disabilities and mental disabilities were handled was very, very poorly. Dating back to the old Willowbrook days, which was even further down past the 60s, past the frickin' 70s and 80s. But it was a lot to take in. Like, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you have not seen the movie yet, I do suggest you go see it. But go in knowing that you're gonna be seeing a lot of, a lot of heavy material. And those who are at a faint of heart understand it's a movie. I'm not going deep detail regarding the movie because I, I don't really want to give anything away on it. The storytelling was perfect, was, was great. Although I do personally think for the type of material it was covering, they could have dialed back some of the stuff. Now I understand like a lot of people are going to be in the comments section. Oh, you're, you're bashing the movie. I am telling you guys right now I am far from bashing this movie this was a top-notch movie the acting was great the storytelling was great and I'm again as I said I'm going to touch base on this in a little while but I I'm, I'm still like to this day and now I've seen I had seen the movie Sunday right now the day of recording this it's Tuesday and it's a lot to fucking take in <laughs> it's a lot to take in in the sense of all right this is like the first time in one of these movie reviews that I'm actually gonna like go into some of my personal life. Now, when I'm not doing YouTube videos, I'm I, I work in a field where it's dealing with people with uh, a variety of disabilities, and I'm dealing with a variety of different behaviors. And seeing this, as far as coming from a person that had the the character, the Joker having and going through all this stuff in his early life and you find out like deeper in like why he is the way he is for starters minor spoiler alert here he was adopted he was abused as a child and he had a condition where he laughed uncontrollably but he also had his delusions where he saw things that weren't really happening he felt that things were happening that weren't really happening and his mother who was uh, placed in a psychiatric ward for X amount of time when he was working for, or when the mother was working for, uh, Wayne Industries. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you find out that a lot of the reason why Batman's mother and father got killed, it was, a, it was associated, but it wasn't, it wasn't the Joker that did it. It wasn't the Joker that killed it, Batman's uh, mom and dad. But I will leave that to let you guys actually see the movie. Now, the reason behind it, I've worked with, I've worked in this general field for, I want to say roughly four years, four and a half years roughly. 
for a number of different, for like a handful of different places. And to a point, it's kind of frightening uh, to see that and to know what this kind of movie could cause people to do that aren't like properly educated on the that type of community. And I'm planning on doing another video, it's kind of like a follow-up to this, but it's not really like a review style. But when that comes out, you'll see it. But this movie had a lot of heavy material, so those that are looking to see it, I wholeheartedly tell you, go see it, but go into it knowing that it is just a movie. Go into it knowing um, a little bit, just educate yourself more on uh, the community as far as the people that with with select mental disabilities and I for the most part ultimately enjoy it but go into understanding that this isn't the way things are now with this population needless to say as far as the movie goes I am giving this movie a solid 9 out of 10 because the story was great the act Joaquin Phoenix's acting was phenomenal phenomenal to the point where that kind of makes me think like maybe deep down he's a little fucking tweaked overall this movie the jo joker nine out of ten and again like it's touching base on a lot of topics especially like how uh mental illness was handled in the 70s and 80s and yeah it was fucked up back then it was really fucked up back then to top it all off though this movie definitely filled in a lot of blanks although i have one i have a handful of gripes regarding it uh, primarily, like, how the Joker became the Joker. Because I don't... I have my doubts on how he's, like, the main, like, Batman villain. Because you see Joaquin playing as Joker, but he's not known as Joker. He's known by, I believe it was Andrew. He wasn't all there. Like, you don't necessarily... I, I have... I just had difficulty buying in that he's gonna... This guy who is delusional to high hell is intelligent enough to do some of the stuff that the Joker does as far as being a Batman villain. But, and who knows, maybe there's gonna be a sequel that leads into how he develops. Because I can definitely see a lot of development coming in, coming out of this. This is solely the only... That's solely the one thing that hurt um, this my scoring on this review because it could have been a 10 out of 10 without a doubt but I just find it very difficult to believe that this Joker who's delusional to high hell who's completely off the fucking wall psychotic has the intelligence enough to do a lot of the crimes that he will do once Batman becomes Batman Although I'm going to close this video with one thing and one thing only. As far as dealing with the population and working with this population of people with mental disabilities and developmental disabilities, the public should know that these people are not going to be that level of deranged because it's it's been a stigma for many years that, that they're bound to be these unstable psychopaths which I can assure you and many people can assure you they're not take what I'm saying now as not solely as an opinion but as an educated fact anyway I'm still saying my final score on this movie is 9 out of 10 um, I want to thank you guys for watching feel free to f share your opinion in the comment section below just remember what I said this movie is worth the watch to at least get a glimpse of what the social services setup was like back in the 70s and as far as how it evolved from that. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And um, I've mentioned earlier on in the video that I'm planning on doing a follow-up video to this, which is less of a review and more of a follow-up to a lot of the red flags that were shown in this movie that makes people that work with the people with developmental disabilities and mental disabilities a very, very questionable. Anyway, thanks for, again for watching. Make sure you like, share the video, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I want to hear you guys' opinions in that comment section down below. 
as far as what you thought and as far as what you took from the movie. Because as far as the the Rotten Tomato scoring being fluctuated, because again, like from what I read up on, the score was originally high. Then all of a sudden, like once it released into theaters, like they there were people that were walking out. But the thing is, they were walking out not because the movie was bad, but because there was a lot of material that was there, and there was a lot of stuff that they were seeing that just like left them with a really bad feeling in their stomach. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.